Uh, the shuttle is moving across the uh, back here, and I think it avoided the engineering base, so C's not going to have any preparation for this, uh, but he has a tank sieged up right next to his command center in a decent position, and I think he has a turret there, and he has a good tur he has a turret there, so actually it's in a really good position. Um, Reaver, uh, Reaver getting a shot off, but the tank hitting the Reaver once, and uh, looks like the Reaver's going to try to get another shot off. Uh, does kill an SCV building an armory, uh, but not going to be able to be that effective because of the turret and the tanks. Um, and it looks like a Zell is being dropped here to try to kill this tank off. And the tank, one tank does go down, um, and the Zell is actually getting position to kill the second tank. So very good micro by Free here uh, with his uh, Reaver's excellent micro by Free. I'm actually really impressed by this Reaver drop. Managing to take out two tanks, um, and looks like he's working on a third tank here. Uh, that tank is going to die. Uh, that tank is going to get saved though. Uh, the Reaver's still alive, I believe. Uh, in the shuttle, and just showing how excellent, um, how excellently a Protoss player can play against us. And Protoss is getting um, expansion at the main base at the nine o'clock, but it looks like C has spotted it already. Um, we'll see if C decides to go in for a push right now. Um, excuse me. Um, I'm trying to make less lip smacking noises in my videos because someone has sent me a message complaining about it. <laughs> complaining about it. So, uh, yeah, I have noticed that in listening to my videos. So I'm trying to keep hydrated during these videos and, and prevent that from happening. I don't know. Uh, before I did these videos, I had no idea that my mo voice was either smooth or that yeah, I did lip smacking. So... I've had comments on both. Uh, in any case, a bunch of vultures playing some lines around the 9 o'clock expansion here. Um, looks like he's going to try to take this nexus down, but looks like some dragoons coming to a rescue here uh, to deal with these these um, these vultures. I'm not sure if observers are up yet for free, and uh, looks like he's about to transfer some probes. Uh, looks like there is an observer moving to the middle, and C might be setting up some sort of trap or something to try to get these uh, dragoons killed by the mines. But looks like the dragoons are narrowly going to avoid some of these mines here, and uh, more more probes in transit here. And looks like three vultures are actually sneaking through. There's nothing in Free's base, actually. Uh, Free moved all of his dragoons out, and looks like these uh, vultures are going to get in and lay some mines here, and ooh, uh, not catching any probes yet. Um, uh, perhaps he was busy laying those mines. And it looks like uh, Free managed to save uh, all of his probes, pretty much, but it looks like mining is being stopped at the second base here uh, momentarily, uh, while while Free deals with these incoming vultures, and see, showing that he can micro these uh, vultures very well, um, being able to plant mines, and actually in all these games so far, I've seen excellent, excellent uh, vulture micro from C. C just uh, being able to micro them very well, I think, and um, it looks like he's setting up a, a third expans a third command center space, looking to set up a second expansion, and uh, a couple of pylons going off of the choke there uh, to prevent the dragoons, uh, prevent the vultures from getting in. And it looks like these vultures are going to get intercepted here um, before they get in. Are they going to get in? Ooh, the pylon wall wasn't finished yet, and uh, C just uh, just exploiting his opportunities so well. He's going to pick off a couple of probes here and then get a couple more mines just to slow down mining, slow down reinforcements, do everything he can to annoy free and just. Uh, and stop his resource production, and I have to say that C has just uh, got great vulture micro, just using his vultures so well uh, to take out to take out uh, probes, and they just deal a lot of economic damage in all these games. But it looks like a, a good load of uh, dragoons here is moving towards this base. But oh, there's so many tanks there. I think the tanks are going to ward those off pretty well. Uh, just dragoons are just not that effective against mass tanks uh, with siege mode, and. Um, Looks like these Dragoons are getting caught in this minefield. Careless by Free here. Losing three Dragoons for no good reason there when Observer, an Observer could have uh, taken care of it. And now C's deciding to move out. C's actually landed at his uh, mineral-only expansion here in the middle. That's going to be quite difficult to defend. Um, but now he's going for the defense here. And he might actually be going in for an attack here. And I think an attack will be quite successful. But there is that shuttle, and that shuttle is gonna it's gonna prove critical to whether this uh, attack fails or succeed succeeds. Um, Free really needs to micro that shuttle really well against those tanks. But I did see some Goliaths around too, and more vultures just going for a harassment at the uh, nine o'clock expansion there for free. Um, I don't know if the pylon wall is complete or not this time. It looks like yeah, the pylon wall is complete, uh, so he's gonna be able to, to stall them from getting in. It looks like there are two Goliaths there. These tanks are being pushed back a little, but they're going towards the main tank force and. Um, yeah, a bunch of vultures. And the vultures trying to use the mind trick to squeeze past these pylons. We'll see if he pulls off a boxer-esque uh, move here. Boxer, well known for doing that in one of the Pimpus Plays videos. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, C's got that trick down, though. It looks like C does not have that trick down, so not able to plant mines to squeeze his vultures through. That would have been a great boon if he had done that. Um, but it looks like he wasn't successful in doing so, uh, unfortunately. A <laughs> um, bunch of tanks in the middle here, and now they're going to be able to set up that uh, sort of big contain and just prevent the mobility of the uh, Protoss player 
once he's got a lot of tanks up in the middle, the Protoss player just won't be able to move around. And that 9 o'clock expansion will be able to, will be able to be taken down, I think. Uh, looks like a forge going up, the first forge, I think, of the game. So, um, Freeze thinking of some, uh, some photon cannons to help his defense here. Looks like a bunch of uh, Zealots and Dragoons now. This is going to be a main attack here. And actually a flanking attack here. Great move by uh, C here, by Free here, noticing that the Vultures were, were busy. And looks like a bunch of uh, Zealots being dropped on among these tanks. They might be able to take down all these tanks here, actually. And looks like, yeah, pincer attack uh, from both sides. Dragoons uh, now still alive. And they're going to be able to attack this mineral-only expansion right, really well here. So Free doing what he needs to do, attacking from both positions. And I thought Free was far behind this game. But looks like Free actually does have a large Dragoon force. Manages to take out the main army of uh, C here. And uh, looks like looks like a couple zealots still alive, pounding away at those tanks. And um, I don't think C expected all those uh, speed upgraded zealots to come out. It looks like a Templar archive is up for free hit, and free getting a photon cannon there. Now he's going to be able to stop a vulture harass uh, through that ramp there. And uh, free now, C now having to build more vultures to deal with this uh, zealot threat. And the zealots were just pushed in there. Great moment there when all the vultures were away uh, harassing. And um, more vultures coming up to harass here, laying a lot of mines in front. And uh, seeing if they can squeeze through, it looks like they won't be able to squeeze through. They do catch uh, one, one uh, zealot there, but that's okay. Um, C, actually, the mineral expansion is a little bit prone to harassment from High Templar also. If the High Templar get on the ridge over, I think they have uh, enough, uh, they're close enough to be able to storm. Um, looks like a missile turret going up there just to chase away the observers. Um, yeah, these uh, observers just floating around the map trying to take out all these minefields. It looks like... Um, Bunch of vultures still in the middle, though, and uh, it looks like C is going for a sort of a slow movement towards slow push towards uh, towards Freeze Main here. But it's still a very close game. I'd say I can't predict uh, either side having a, a favorite right now, being a, being a favorite right now. Um, I think Freeze positioning of dragoons was so excellent in the last uh, attack, though, positioning some on the left of the main Terran force and able to get in on the flank there with about eight dragoons, and that proved critical to the success of his attack. And <clears throat> More of an attack coming in now for C here, and C is going to push up his tanks, and it looks like Free is uh, sort of pushed into a corner there with his uh, force out of the tank range, and we'll see when he decides to go for a concerted attack here, because he can't just simply let uh, C move in here, and oh man, huge mistake, uh, the shuttle going down for, uh, for Free there. And now his main attack is coming up here. It is a pincer attack, but the vultures are alive this time and, and able to guard against the uh, dragoons here, against the zealots here, and just uh, shield the units there. And it looks like this attack does fail. And free, GG's again, um, realizing that he's uh, going to lose his base from this uh, push here. And GG'ing preemptively uh, again, when other players may have fought on for a little bit longer, but uh, just deciding to concede there and perhaps save his energy for the sixth match. C winning 4-1 uh, now. Um, wins another $500, and uh, I'm going to take a look at what his streak bonus is. I'm not sure if that's a total or if that's his streak bonus at 1900 I assume, actually, that's his bonus for, for the streak only. So he's going to amass a good amount of uh, change here for, for being free so many times in a row, um, getting $1,900 for, for the fourth game in a row, I think. And uh, C looking good here. Um, I have to say, C playing solidly, doing great vulture harass, and Free once again not innovating enough um, and just losing on this map, unfortunately for him. I uh, hope you enjoy this game. Hope my audio commentary, my voice has been better. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for game six coming up. This is Cholera.